All right, my name is Haley Thompson. This is gonna be my head to toe. This is my paper. Hello, my Hi. name is Haley. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, I'm going to be doing your head to toe today, if that's okay. Yes. Um, so, first off, I'm going to start off, can I get your name and date of birth? Yes, my name is Elizabeth Burke, and my date of birth is June 20th of 2003. Perfect. And do you know where we are right now? We are in Haley's apartment. <laughs> and do you know who the current president is? Joe Biden. Perfect. And so, I'm just going to start with a little bit of a health history, because you're anal times three, so... Good to go today. Perfect. And then, so after your health history, then I'll do your head to toe. Okay. So, um, do you have any, like, medical diagnoses or any surgical history that I need to know about? Um, just endometriosis, which I recently had a surgery for. Okay. Are you recovering well from that? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Um, do you take any medications or any supplements or anything like that? Um, no really supplements or anything. I do take birth control. Though. Okay. And you're tolerating that pretty well? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, do you have any allergies? Just to latex. Okay, and we won't be using any latex today. So Perfect. I guess there. Perfect. Um, and do you have any smoking history, any vaping or anything like that? No. Okay, how about drinking? Any drinking history? No. Okay, and then um, diet and exercise. Do you have a pretty good diet? Like, don't mm -hmm. skip any meals, good calorie intake? Yeah, um, yeah, I try my best. Um, staying pretty hydrated and stuff as yes, well. Yes, of course. Um, and then you exercise, good activity tolerance. Yeah, okay. Yep. Perfect. So everything sounds good there. Okay. And I'm just going to get started with some vitals, if that's cool. Sure. Do you have a preference which one? No, okay. either one is fine. Over here. Okay. And this on your arm. Sure. Untangled first. <laughs> and then I'll clip this up here. Perfect. I'm just gonna put it for your under your heel falls real quick. Okay. Your blood pressure was a 104 over 80 today, so okay. it's good, nice and healthy. Perfect. And after, I, after I take this off, I'm going to get your pulse. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to set this over here. And then, so I'm going to take your pulse for a full minute. Okay.
So your post today was 94 and regular, so that's good. And your respiration is 12, so they're both normal. Okay. And then I'm going to get a quick temperature on you. Sure. Okay, I'm just going to place this under your tongue and hold it for me. Okay. So it beeps. Which was 99 today, so it's pretty good. Okay. Um, so next, I would look at your pulse. I would use a pulse ox mm -hmm. to um, look at your oxygen saturation in your fingers. Mm -hmm. But since I don't have that, I will look for clubbing and I will get your capillary blood in your hands. Okay. So I don't see any signs of clubbing, so that looks good. I'm gonna check for capillary leaf now. And that is 11 30 seconds and 30 seconds full, so that is good. Okay, um, I'm gonna start off with your arms before I get started on the head, okay? Sure. So I'm gonna feel for your skin. Your temperature is nice and good, seems pretty even on both sides. Um, inspecting the skin looks good. I don't see any abnormalities or anything. Freckles and stuff looks <laughs> good. Um, I'm gonna feel for your muscle tone as well. Okay. And that looks pretty even across both sides. And um, I'm going to feel for symmetry in your pulses. So I'm gonna okay. flip your hands this way. Yep. I'm gonna feel your regular pulses and feel nice and symmetrical. And then I'll feel your brachial pulses. All right, and those are pretty symmetrical as well. So that looks okay. good. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to do some cerebellar function real quick. Sure. So can I have you make an okay sign? Yes. And then I'll have you switch fingers and then do that as fast as you can. Perfect. And then put your hands on your lap. Okay. And then flip them over and go do that as fast as you can. All right. And that looks good as well. So your cerebellar function looks good. Perfect. Um, so now I'm going to start at your head. Okay. I'm going to okay. look at your scalp if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't see any abnormalities or dryness, nothing. Do you dye your hair at all? Um, I do, yeah. That goes pretty well for you? Yeah, just okay. occasionally, not super yeah. regular. Right, so your hair looks good today, your scalp looks good, I don't see any excessive dryness or anything like that. Perfect. So that looks good. Um, so your face looks nice and good, the <laughs> color is good, I like the freckles. <laughs> Thank you. Um, pigment looks good, stuff like that, so mm -hmm. that looks good. And I'm gonna feel your frontal sinuses. Any pain or top pain or tenderness here? No. Okay. And then your maxillary sinuses. Is same thing. No pain, no tenderness. Yep. No pain. All right. And that looks good. Um, I'm gonna do your ears as well. Okay. Well. So I'm just gonna feel your pins. Um, everything looks good here. So you have a couple piercings. So those. Yeah. Those feels pretty well. Yes, I okay. do. Yep. Right, everything looks good there. I don't see any abnormalities there. Okay. Um, so now I'm gonna go to your eyes. So can okay. I? I'm gonna pull up and then have you look down, and I'll pull down and have you look up. Okay. okay. On both sides. Okay. So look down. Okay. And look up. And this side down. And look up. All right. So your sclera looks good there. Your conjunctiva is nice and pink, like it should be. So Perfect. That looks good there. Um, and then I'm going to use my Pen light, okay. and I'm going to look at your pupil reactions. Okay. So don't look at the light, but look <laughs> sure. in the distance. Okay, and I'm going to check your pupils, okay? And that looks good. And then can I have you look at the pen, mm -hmm. and then look at my hand, and then at the pen? 
And then I hand this one. All right, so it looks good. Your pupils were nice and equal around reactive to light mirror combining as well. So that is good. Perfect. So that was your cranial nerves. Um, oh, just kidding. I have to do <laughs> one <laughs> eye test on you real quick. So I'm going to have you follow the pen with your eyes. Sure. Right. And that was your cranial nerves three, four, and six. Okay. Uh, do you wear any glasses or contacts or anything? Um. Yes, I do. I do wear both, like glasses okay. and contacts. Okay. Um. Do you tolerate those pretty well? You can see pretty well with those. Yeah, my prescription's pretty low. Okay. So. so, um, based on that information, I don't have the sound chart to look at your cranial nerve two, but okay. based on that information, I'd say cranial nerve two is in function. Perfect. Um, and then your three, four, and six was good as well. Um, I'm gonna take a look at your nose real quick. Okay. okay, so I'm just having you look back for me. Alright, and I don't see any pops or deviations or anything like that, so that looks good. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to look in your mouth real quick as okay. well. Alright, and then that looks good to me. Do you have any, have you had any like braces or anything like that? Yeah, I had That's braces well. for a while, but they're off now and that okay. went pretty well. Good. Well, it looks good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have you, I'm going to set this to depress your tongue and I'm going to okay. look at the back of your throat. Okay, sure. So just stick out your tongue and then say yeah. off. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so that looks nice and good. And okay. then I'm also going to have you um, stick out your tongue and move it side to side. Okay, perfect. So that was your cranial nerves, um, 10 and 12, those are intact. Okay. Um, I'm going to test your swallowing real quick as well. Sure. So I'm going to feel for your throat real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you swallow. All right. So that was your cranial nerve 9 as well, so that one's also intact. Perfect. And then I'm going to feel your jaw real quick. So okay. So you clench down. Mm -hmm. All right, and that looks good. So that is intact. Um... I'm going to put the edge of this fork onto places of your face. I'm going to have you close your eyes and tell me where you feel. Okay. Left cheek. Right cheek. Forehead. Chin. Nose. All right. So your cranial nerves five and seven are also intact. So that was looking good today. Perfect. Um, and real quick, I'm going to check your sense of smell. So your cranial nerve one. Okay. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and tell me what you smell. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Pretty strong, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so now I'm going to move down to your neck. I'm going to feel your carotids and I'm going to listen to them. Okay. So I'm going to feel... One at a time. And that feels nice and strong. I'll do this one. And that is nice and strong as well. So now okay. I'm going to listen with the bell of my stethoscope to listen for any bruise, which would be like a swishing sound. Okay. All right. Can I have you hold your breath for mm -hmm. while I do this? All right. And you can breathe out and then hold your breath one more time. All right, and that is good there. I don't hear any bruise or anything abnormal, so those are looking good today. Perfect. Um, and then so we've got your swallowing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have you turn around in the bed real quick, sure. and I will assess your thyroid and then move on to your room. Okay, perfect. And while you're turning around, I'm gonna check my sheet once real quick. Sure. So I did all your vitals and checked your arms and your hands, muscle tone, um, okay. Um, okay, and I'm going to check your thyroid real quick. Okay. So this is the middle of your throat, your abs are bulging. I'm gonna move this over and have you swallow. Okay, that feels good. And then I'll have you move the other way and swallow. All right, and that feels good too. So your thyroid is all good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move your hair to the side. Sure. I'm gonna feel for chest expansion real quick. Okay. So just take a big deep breath in. 
Alright, and that was nice and symmetrical, even on both sides. Um, your chest diameter is a 2 to 1, which is normal, so that's good. Okay, and next I'm going to listen to your lung sound. I'm going to put the camera over a little bit. So each time you feel my stethoscope, I'm going to have you take a deep breath, but we'll go nice and slow so you don't lose your breath. And okay. If you need to take a breather, let me know. Perfect. Alright, so feeling for your scap. I'm going to start up here. Okay. Moving down to the lung sound. Here's one. Okay, and moving into two. That was four. I'm just gonna come up here real quick underneath your bra. Sure. Okay. Okay, and that was five, and I'll do one last spot on each side. All right, and that sounds good. Lung sounds are clear, so that is normal. It's good. Okay, and then now I'm going to percuss your lungs. Okay, and I'm gonna do six spots on each side, going zigzag again. Okay. This is six. All right, so that sounds nice and resonant. That's exactly what I wanted to hear, so that is good. Okay. Um, and now I'm gonna have you lay down. Okay. And I'm gonna take the pillow away for just a minute so I can take a look at your neck. Sure. All right, and can I have you turn your head away from me? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm looking for JVD, but I do not see anything abnormal. I don't see any JVD there. Perfect. Okay, look on the other side real quick. And same thing there, no abnormalities there. Okay. So I can put your pillow back. Perfect. And I'm gonna hand you a camera. Sure. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to start by um I'm gonna do your cardiac assessment. So I'm gonna feel for your lung places. I'm gonna look at the five places of your heart. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to be listening with both the diaphragm and my bell so that I can listen for normal heart sounds, the lub dub, and the um, any murmurs. Awesome. Okay. So first, feeling for the aortic. Here's your clavicle. First space, first rib, first intercostal space, second rib, second space. I'm going to put the bell on my stethoscope here, or the diaphragm on my stethoscope here. All right, and then I'm gonna flip to the bell to listen for murmurs. All right, and nothing bad there. And now I'm gonna go to your your pulmonic, okay? And this is gonna be your first rib, first space, second rib, and second intercostal space for your pulmonic. A nice strong heartbeat. I'm gonna listen with my bell. All right, and that is nice and strong. And now I'm going to look for your herbs point, which is gonna be the third intercostal space. So here's your first rib, first space, second rib, second space, 
third rib and your third intercostal space. I'm gonna listen to my diaphragm. And that is a good strong B in listening with my bell. All right, and I don't hear any murmurs. Now I'm going to go to the fourth space for the tricuspid. Use your first rib for space, second rib, second space, third, third space. I'm gonna meet up here, okay. fourth rib, fourth space. Listening with the diaphragm. And that's good. I'm gonna let's turn it to my bell. Sorry. And no murmurs there. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to your fifth and listen to your mitral, okay? Okay, so here is your first, first space, second, second space, third, third space, and fourth, fourth space, and your fifth, fifth space. We're gonna go mid clavicular, listening with my diaphragm, and turning around to listen with my bell. And no murmurs there. So I'm going to stay here for 60 seconds to count your apical heartbeat. Okay. Alright, and that sounds good. That was your apical heart rate today was 92, so that okay. is good. Within normal range. And now I'm going to move to your abdominal. Okay. So I'm going to inspect first. So okay. I see your aorta pulsating. And it looks good. I don't see any abnormal bumps or anything like, anything like that. No lesions, not anything. Um, is it okay if I just pull your waistband down just a little sure. bit? Sure, yeah. All right. And I'm going to first listen to each of the quadrants of okay. your abdomen. So I'm going to listen for bowel sounds and with my diaphragm, the lower right quadrant. And I hear five bowel sounds there, so I'm moving to the upper right. Right, and I hear five sounds there, so I'm moving to the upper left. Okay, and five there too, so I'm moving to the lower left. All right, and that sounds good. And then I'm going to listen with the bell on my stethoscope for your your arteries. So I'm going to listen to your aorta, which is about right here. All right, and no bruise there. Renal, this is your left renal artery. Right, but your, sorry, that was your right renal artery. <laughs> this is your left renal artery. All right, and then going down to iliac. This is your left renal or left iliac artery, and your right iliac artery. 
All right, and I do not hear any breeze, no swishing or anything there, so those sound good. Perfect. And your vowels sound, sound good as well. So I'm going to move on to percussion, if that's all right with you. Yep. And I'm going to do, listen for three sounds in each quadrant. Okay. So I'm going to start in your lower right. And upper right. And upper left. And lower left. All right, and then now I'm going to percuss from your lower right quadrant and listen to for your lower border. Okay. All right, and your lower border sounds good. I found that. Perfect. So now that I percuss, I'm going to move to light palpation. So let me know if you feel any pain or anything. Okay. I'm going to start in the lower right. Okay, that was the upper right. Upper left. And lower left. Alright, and that feels good, so I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Okay. Do some deep palpation in your lower right. And upper right. Upper left and lower left. All right, and that feels good there. Okay. Um, now I'm going to feel for your femoral arteries. Okay. So I am gonna have to go just under your shorts, if that's okay. Sure, that's um, fine. Can I have you lift one of your legs for me? Yep. And I'm going to feel for this. Sorry about that. No problem. Right, and that feels good and strong. So I'm gonna listen with the bell of my stethoscope for any breweries down there. Okay. All right, and I do not hear any breweries there. Okay. So I'm gonna have you switch legs. Sure. And I'm going to feel for this one. Okay. All right. And good strong pulse there. And I'm going to listen with my bell again. Okay. Great. All right. And that sounds good as well. No breweries there. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to I can take the phone from you. Sure. And I'm going to assess your legs. <gasps> okay. Next. start by feeling your limbs feel for temperature temperature seems nice and even i don't see any abnormal bruising or anything like that um, no scars or anything so um looks good there i'm gonna assess for muscle tone real quick okay and that is nice and strong even on both sides um so i'm gonna do a sharp and dull test on you real okay. quick so this is going to be sharp Okay. And this is going to be dull. Okay. So I'm just going to close your eyes and tell me what you feel. Sure. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. 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 All right. Pass that test. <laughs> Good job Perfect. there. Um, and I'm going to feel for your pulses real quick. So okay. I'm going to do your popliteal pulses. And those are nice and symmetrical, and I'm gonna listen to your um, <laughs> listen to your um, post tibial pulse, okay, on the inside of your ankle, okay, right, and those are nice and symmetrical, and I'm gonna feel your dorsalis pedis, all right, and those are symmetrical as well, okay, so everything looks good there. And I'm going to have you sit up for me. Sure. You can hang off the edge of the bed again. Um, I am going to check my sheet real quick. Sure. And see if I'm missing anything real quick. Okay. Um, I did 
forget to do. I'm gonna check your range of motion real quick. Okay? Sure. Um, leave everything else how you did. I think I'm missing too much. Um, okay. Um, real quick while I'm on your legs, I'm going to do your patellar reflex real quick. Sure. And then I'm gonna go test your range of motion in your arms. Okay. So I'm gonna hit here and then. Yeah, that looks good. All right, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so strong. Okay, so real quick, I'm just gonna get your. I tested the muscle tone and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm. test your strength and your range of motion. So I'm gonna have sure. you swim with this arm. Okay. Okay, nothing bad there. That felt good. No creaking or cracking. Okay. Okay, and I just go here. All right, and that was good. So can I have you um twist your <laughs> your wrist? Yes. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna do your. Can okay, you have me go like this mm -hmm. and push against me? Yep. And then the other way. Okay. All right. Now can I have you grab my hands? Yep. And squeeze. Perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on your legs real quick. Okay. Um, I'm gonna push down on you. Okay. And then push up on you. Perfect. Can I have you do some ankle circles real quick? Yep. All right, and I think that looks good. I'm gonna hand you your shoes real quick. Sure. And then we're gonna get you up and test your gait and your cranial nerve gait. Perfect. Oh my gosh. All right, okay. and I'm gonna have you stand up and I'm gonna check your round brick real quick. Sure. So I'm gonna have you stand just like this and I'm gonna have you close your eyes and I'm gonna just test your swing real quick. Okay. All right, and that looks good there. Don't You did not have a positive round brick, so your round brick's negative, so Perfect. we're good there. So we're good to test your walking. I'm just gonna turn the camera on a minute so you can sure. see your walking a little better. Right, and I'm gonna have you walk towards this door. Okay. Okay, and then go back. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna have you do the same thing, but heel to toe. Okay. okay. All right, so that looks good. Your cranial nerve eight is good. Your gait and balance seems pretty good too. Okay. Um, so based on everything today, you pass your head to toe, it looks good. Perfect. Good. Um, your activity talent seems pretty well. Mm -hmm. Your nutrition is pretty good. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, I'm not worried about any incontinence or anything for you, so mm -hmm. it seems good. And based on your activity level, I'm not worried about friction or shear or anything. Okay. So I'm going to give you a brain score of 23, which is the best you can get. Perfect. <laughs> so you're not at a high risk for partial ulcers at all. Okay. And thank you for letting me do a head to toe on you of today. Of course. <laughs> thank you.